We're going to take a look now at application virtualization, also known as APP-V, that's A-P-P-V, APP-V, and this certainly will be on the MTA test. It's just something they like to put on there for some reason on your 98365 MTA. So what in the world is APP-V? Well, imagine the scenario you have a training class and uh, you're the teacher of this training class so you have a oh a, a, maybe a conference room or something set up and you got 15 16 computers all set up in that conference room and you're going to guide your students through maybe some office stuff and you're going to use the latest version of office you'll use maybe office 365 so you're using the cloud version of it and uh, then you'll say, well, wait a minute, we need to know how to do this on an older version of Office. Let's say Office 2016. Well, the problem is if you install Office 2016 on that computer along with the Office 365, you're likely to have some problems, some confusions and conflicts. So what do you do? Well, you can install Office 2016 then on a server somewhere with app v and once it's there now you can stream that that application from the server to the users from what the users can see it looks like it's installed on their machine if they go down here to their uh, to their start button and they click that and look at their their programs they're going to actually find that application in their program list it's going to look for all the world like it's on their machine. And when they run it, it's going to run like it's on their machine. But it's not. It's actually running on a server somewhere, on an application virtualization server. Now that means that it has to have all of the dependencies built into it. If that application needs, say, a .NET, um, you know, .NET installation underneath it, or it needs uh, you know, PHP or something else to be installed uh, along with it, that all has to be in there as well. So that's, how, that's what this thing is. Now, where is it? Well, it's not built into Windows Server by default. You have to go out and buy it from Microsoft and it is in a package called MDOP, Microsoft Desktop Optimization Pack, MDOP. In order to buy this, you have to have a corporate license and pay them lots of money and be a partner with Microsoft. And once you have it, if I pull this up, you can see that some components of MDOP are App V, that's one of the components, and then there are several others, user experience virtualization, BitLocker administration, advanced group policy management, diagnostics and recovery toolkit. All of these are parts of the MDOP package. So App V is one of those. Now I'm not going to look into the interface for App V because it gets complex real fast. The thing is that we have to build our application in there with all the dependencies if there could be problems that come up in fact sometimes we actually have to build in what we call shims to they're like little fixes so to speak in order to make them work correctly in app v sometimes we have to go to the developers of those applications in order to get some of the information we need to build those shims or to get the developers to build them so it is fairly intense trying to set these things up if there's any complexity or problems at all. But I do want to give you a little bit of terminology here. And uh, let's see, I didn't set this up in advance. So let me just open up a blank document here and give you some, some terminology, some app v terminology, app v. Uh, the process of putting that that piece of software and its dependencies all together is called sequencing. And you do it through the sequence manager. So the interface 
that you build the application in on the server is the sequence manager. And then once you've built it all, you're sending that out to the clients. And the term we use for that is streaming. These are terms that as soon as you see them on your MTA, start thinking AppV immediately. Also, if you see something about older application running older applications now that's not all we use it for but that is a common theme i've seen on the mta quite a bit um, and no matter whether it's older applications or you just or newer applications doesn't matter we just want all of the applications to be administered to our clients without having to go out and install it on each individual client computer